Hello YouTube, my name is Raphael and you guys are watching Fix Gaming. Today is February the 8th, which means it's a Sunday. Hope you guys are having an awesome weekend so far, but unfortunately, all good things must come to an end. Uh, now, before we get into the commentary topic, I want to talk a little bit about the gameplay. Now, today's gameplay was a Battlefield Hardline clip from the beta build on the PS4 by Shulksky. Now, uh, it's very mediocre at best, but you can't judge him because he is a COD player. Uh, as soon as you take a player from a game that has no recoil and no bullet drop and put him into a game that does, well, you get these expected results. Uh, but with practice, he will get better and, you know, get better content for you guys. Now, before I get into the topic about is Hardline worth it, I want to talk a little bit about my past knowledge with Battlefield franchises. Uh, now, I did play Battlefield 4 basically religiously uh, when it first came out on the PS4. I played it with my friends, and it was just basically a game that we played all the time after school, basically until Destiny and COD, and then following COD uh, came out. Um, I also played Battlefield 3, but I don't, I didn't get the full experience because I didn't play it much, and I also didn't play with any of my friends. Uh, so yeah, most of my experience does come from Battlefield 4, uh, the game. Now, if you guys did not know, Battlefield Hardline comes from Visceral Games instead of the uh, instead of the normal Dice games, uh, Dice games, Dice, uh, because Dice is currently working on Star Wars Battlefront and fixing their Battlefield 4 uh, game as of now. Uh, but ba I believe that Visceral Games just did an amazing job. Uh, originally, I thought that this whole cops and robbers aspect was just a stupid thing. Uh, I thought it was a slap to the face after playing Battlefield 4, which was such a broken game, that they were going to release the Battlefield next year that wasn't even going to pertain to the same thing. It was going to be Cops and Robbers. I thought it was stupid. But after playing this, I want to apologize for my remarks. Uh, basically, Battlefield Hardline is just an absolutely fun game. It really is. It's just uh, the Cops and Robbers aspect kind of gives the characters that you're playing a more feel. Like, you know if you're a cop, you know if you're robber there's different animations they say different things to each other it's it's really fun and it's really cool um it it basically changed from cops to robbers uh from soldier to soldier which i thought was really cool um now visceral games they also put a lot of creativity and small little details into their gameplay uh for example if you look in to the trailer for Battlefield Hardline, you can see a cop spotting a donut and he'll say delicious pastries ahead or something like that. Uh, same with my friend, he basically spotted a cop and as a criminal and it would say, uh, he basically flipped the bird instead of the whole pointing thing, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, there's also attention to like camos, camos are different, they look unique instead of all the same patterns, just different color. Um, same with melee weapons, there's different melee weapons, there's like batons and baseball bats and stuff like that. Um, there's also a new unlock system. Now this unlock system is different than anything uh, I've really seen before. There probably is something, but I feel like Battlefield Hardline does this exceptionally well. Uh, so basically, when you're playing a game, you get these experience points. Now with experience points, you get, you also get cash. Now with this cash, you can go and you can buy the things that you want to buy. Whether it be gun, whether it be like uh, attachments or a melee weapon, you can buy whatever you want. So that means your endless hours of grinding will all go towards the things that you want to buy. Instead of like Destiny, now in Destiny you had to grind and grind and grind and grind. Just hoping that you would get something that you want. You never knew what you were going to get. But for Battlefield Hardline, you can actually save up for something that you want and you know what you want, so you actually get it in the end. Uh, your hard work does go uh, untaken or whatever you want to call it. Now, the bad things about Hardline. There really is very limited bad things. Um, Battlefield Hardline in the end is a very exceptional game. Even just playing the Battlefield uh, Hardline beta, I feel like this game will be like good, right? Now, one of its downfalls is that I believe the graphics have taken a step down from the previous Battlefield 4. Uh, Battlefield 4 had amazing graphics, it just looked pretty. Uh, Battlefield franchises are basically known for their very stunning graphics, but I feel like these uh, ones just don't look as nice. 
Uh, this is probably because this is a beta build, so I can't really judge this. As as I said before, everything is basically has potential to change for the better or worse. Uh, but the graphics, they're just not as pretty, which I was a little bit disappointed. But I feel like this is probably just because of the idea that it's this beta build. Uh, also, the vehicles, they need work on. Uh, definitely, there is a game mode that I feel like will be very popular called Hotwire. If you don't know what Hotwire is, it's basically domination with a whole bunch of moving points. You get into the car and you drive around, uh, and while you're driving around, you take away tickets on the enemy's team. Uh, this creates a lot of vehicle warfare and action pack like shooting out of cars. It's just a lot of fun, RPGs flying everywhere. Uh, and yeah, but with the vehicles in their state right now, it's kind of very glitchy. Uh, when a vehicle kind of hits another vehicle or hits a wall, their physics aren't right, they kind of rubber band a bit and kind of look like they stick to each other. Uh, I feel like they just need to work on that and then the thing will be better. Uh, the vehicles will be better. But I do feel like they have already improved it from Battlefield um, 4. Uh, now instead of just the toggles moving forward, there's actual throttle and like a stop and a reverse and everything buttons, which I thought was pretty cool. And there's a details where uh, in the fast cars like the muscle car and the sedan you can have people basically sit outside of the car and shoot at other people uh, it's a lot of fun uh, now that's basically it other than the fact that I think but don't quote me on this because I'm not really sure but this is just with my experience I believe that they have upped the recoil just a bit uh, it feels like some of the weapons have just kind of you know have in more recoil this is probably because the fact that they have taken out suppression now if you guys don't know what suppression is it's basically when you're getting shot at and you basically it gives the illusion of fear so when you are getting shot at you can't uh when you're aiming down sights you can't it's more sway right and you get a blurred uh vision it's just to give the illusion of fear and getting shot at and not want to die right i believe they took this out and in order to balance this, they just put a little more suppression, uh, a little more recoil on the weapon. But uh, like I said, this is all subject to change. This is as of right now. Um, uh, that's basically it. There's nothing really that bad about Battlefield Hardline. Everything I addressed, I believe they will fix in the final build. I'm just really excited to see where this goes. Now, you guys might ask me, so is it worth it? Should I buy it? I would say yes, but I would. I'm definitely gonna buy it, but not pre-order. I'm not going to take the chance like I did with Battlefield 4. Um, I'm going to wait probably a week or two weeks after, and I believe you guys should too, and wait for reviews and watch some gameplay to see if I believe like it deserves my money. Because like I said before, I bought premium. I bought. A, I spent $110 on Battlefield 4, and I kind of feel like I was cheated on. Uh, but yeah, so Battlefield Hardline, overall, it's just an amazing game filled with action-packed epic moments where you see like cars uh, swooping around and uh, swooping, no, helicopters swooping around and cars driving off of bridges and people ziplining from building to building and cranes falling in the sky. If you guys like that epic moments, then you guys should definitely buy this game. It's very action-packed. Uh, yeah, that's basically what Battlefield is known for, but I feel like this is everything that Battlefield 4 was supposed to be. Uh, so, only time will tell if Battlefield Hardline is worth it, but in my opinion, I say yes, but I would wait out for the release of the game. Uh, there's, I don't think there's that many, really, like, benefits to pre-ordering it right now. Nothing, like, game changers or anything. Uh, but yeah, so I think just wait for it to come out and we'll see where it takes us there. Uh, so that's the end of the video. Uh, there's not gonna be much gameplay after it, because I will edit it. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe if you're new to this channel or uh, coming back visitor. Uh, this is Fix Gaming. I'll be here tomorrow uh, with a new video. Uh, signing off. See you guys in the next one. Peace.